guys, welcome to the first Efficient Arts graphic design tutorial. The, this tutorial is supposed to come out tomorrow, but I was getting pretty bored so I thought I'd do it now. Uh, so, basically the series of the tutorials going to do, it's going to be ranging from really, really, really easy to start off with, just for beginning graphic designers to know what they're doing, feel comfortable with Photoshop, and just build up the skills gradually each week. So we're going to gonna start off with a pretty simple and we're going to start off with scan lines. Some of you may know how to do them, some of you may not, but it's a pretty good effect. It gives a background, like a plain background. It gives it a pretty good, pretty good effect, and it doesn't make it look so plain, huh? So what we're going to do is we're going to go start a new file, new canvas. Going to make a five by five pixel. So background contents will be transparent, right? So then I'm going to get a navigator tool out. If you don't have your navigator tool on the right hand right toolbar, which will be the boat looking one, boat wheel, go window and then go navigator. It should just pop up, right? So click the big big triangles and just keep clicking until it zooms in all the way, 3200%. Yeah. Yeah, so it's always zoomed in. Alright, so we're gonna get out we're gonna get out the pencil tool, alright, so which would be in the left hand toolbar, just right click on the brush tool, I put the pencil tool, which should be a square with a plus in the middle of it, alright? So we're gonna pick a colour. Normally scan lines are either black or white. So you pretty much won't use any other colours than that you could, but generally it's just black and white. So I'm gonna do a black ones today, alright? So we're gonna go we're just gonna click on the bottom left hand corner of the canvas until it creates a square right? so we're going to go in a we're going to go in an upwards right hand diagonal line until we get to the top right hand corner so we're going to go here 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 and here right? so that gives it a diagonal line which will be the direction of the scan lines right? so you could you could do it the other way do going up to the right or going up to the left doesn't matter right? so we're going to go Gonna go edit, define pattern. All right, so we're gonna go name it black scan lines. Just anything you want, black black scan lines. All right, so now that's pretty much the scan lines done. So to add it to a file, add it to anything else, you pretty much open up anything, create a new layer, and just go edit, edit fill, and you'll just click pattern in the contents use bar. And then just click on the click on the pattern, which will be just balls. So you pretty much start off with these first two patterns, but when you create scan lines, they'll come up. Or when you create any pattern, so when I click on the scan lines we just made, click OK, and that will just that'll just fill it in. Uh, so we're gonna go to make it not so just stand there. We're gonna go edit blending layer, layer blending. I'm just going to add it to overlay, or overlay or soft light, which, whatever you want, whichever looks best. So we overlay and just lower the opacity, get it pretty low because you normally just use it about 10 to 20, that's what I use it at, so pretty much anything higher than that is too dominant in the work. So yeah, that's that's pretty much scan lines done. Come, we'll bring another tutorial to you hopefully the next few days since this one's pretty short, we'll just get them, start off short and work our way up, but it's the best way to go. All right, so. Don't forget to subscribe and rate and keep posted and we'll get another tutorial soon, alright? Thanks guys.